Well, hello there, my little sunshines, lions, Leos. I am talking to each and every one of you, 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 and you. And I'm talking to you if you have Leo anywhere in your chart. So I'm talking to myself as well. Let's get into your general reading, Leos. Yes, this is a general reading. The energy has already been cleared. Let's see what these cards have to say. Yes, Leos. The title of this book and the author will be in the description bar, the description box, excuse me. Um, yeah, because a lot of people have asked, what, what's the name of the book? What's the author? Who's the author? Yeah, so if you have a book um, and you liked your book on this table, send me your information. I will buy your book. I'm not, if, you know, if you want to send me a free one, um, I'd like to purchase your book. I'd like to support your book instead of you just sending me a free one. That's nice. That's very kind of you. So if you insist, great. Thank you. But you can... It's not a requirement for you for your book to end up here and for me for you to send me a free book. Let's get into your general reading, Leos. Let's get into your general reading. This is again a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. All right, all right, let's get it. Let's see what these cards have to say. Ooh, somebody is feeling sunnier. I love it, love it, love it. Sun, the sun card is the most positive card in the deck. So let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here. All right. Okay. Here's the sun card. We know that you are ruled by the sun. We also have the five of cups. We also have the seven of cups. We also have the three of cups. Somebody is feeling quite grateful. So hopefully you all are having a great week we have the Magician card, which is ruled by Mercury, which is currently retrograde in Gemini. We also have the King of Wands. Hey, listen. Listen, listen, listen. All right, so Mercury is currently retrograde in Gemini. So there's some things that you all have been speaking to the universe, asking the universe for. So hopefully you all are also in receiving mode. All of this is in receiving mode, right? So remember full moon energy. We had this full moon in Scorpio, plus we had the lunar eclipse the same day. Yikes. That was a lot of emotion, right? Because Scorpio is ruled by two planets, right? Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. So Mars is the planet that's aligned with your energy, your libido, your will, your sexual desires, your romantic attraction, your creative drive. And then there's Pluto, the source of power, position, capacity to transform sexual desires, deepest hopes and fears. So a lot was going on. This is why so many people were so emotionally drained immune systems compromised, thinking about all sorts of things. So your emotions could have been up one day and down the next, but somebody is feeling a lot sunnier. Yes, because that moon is waning. Remember that that full moon is waning. We are approximately 10 days away from the next new moon. So 10 is the number of instant manifestation. That's why somebody is in a posture of gratitude. Yes, you've been bitten, you've encountered snakes. Yes. And when I say snake energy, you've encountered, you've encountered more wisdom, right? Now where you may have been asleep and not really trusting your intuition, now you're wide awake. And that was the whole purpose, right? So some of you all may be still a little sad. And when I say a little, it's like a tiny bit sad that you had to leave some people behind down in that black hole. This is people from your past and people that you, you've been wanting to help bring up, you know, you may, some of you, when I say, I don't even get the energy of sadness anymore. This is so behind you now. This is more of less like, that's how I used to be. I used to be kind of sad that I had to leave some people behind and kind of just depend on myself. But again, you all are a very optimistic sign. I'm talking to you again. I want to reiterate this. Not if Leo is just your sun sign. Leo could be your moon sign, your rising Venus. Step into your house, your spiritual house. Pull your birth chart. See what's in that chart. Because if you if you have Leo anywhere in your chart at your highest frequency, you all are very creative, passionate, generous, warm-hearted, cheerful, humorous, vivacious, honest, loyal, kind, and protective, natural leaders, optimistic. You have already professed that you live a great life. You're caring, right? You're radiating light. 
life-filled energy. Yes, that is sustaining all creation on earth. So the way that you're looking at that snake energy is a Kundalini experience. But in the past, you were looking at it like this. Somebody who was pessimistic. I can't believe I let that snake into my life because if I had known that that person was wearing a mask, dot, 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 dot. Right? The, the you today is grateful for the experience. Because look at your life now, sunnier, free. Somebody went outside and put their toes in the grass like this person right here. Somebody had their arms raised up to the sun. You're not worshiping the sun. You just have your arms raised up. You're like, okay, sun, I want you to hit all the spots, including my underarms. I want you to hit this spot, this spot from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Because I'm that's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling sunny, right? That, that lion in you has awakened. Yes. So again, while you may be, while you may have been a little sad that you had to leave some people behind, the you now, today, that lion has awakened in you. That, that, that torch that has been lit, right? So again, somebody is coming up with a lot of fresh new ideas for business. Somebody's coming up with a lot of fresh new ideas for a lot of things, right? A lot of things in your life. I love it, love it, love it, Leos. I love it, love it, love it. Yes. So yeah, you know when to speak and when to listen. When to send out energy, when to be in receiving mode. That's what the magician card is about. Sending and receiving. You all are senders by default, but you also know when to receive. And somebody is outside. You've taken the action. You sent out a message to the universe. Okay, I need to feel good again. Like, tell me, universe, what do I need to do to feel good? Universe said, gotcha. All right, go outside, get some sun. You'll be grounding. You'll be out there in the air. Grounding, that's earth. You'll be out there in the air, right? Messages coming through the air. You, you're near a body of water. Your throat chakra is wide open, right? You've already spoken it into existence and you're grounding. You're recharging from the earth. So you got all you got all bases covered, all four elements. You got it all covered, right? So yeah, so messages are coming through crystal clear to you, even though Mercury is retrograde, right? Even though Mercury is retrograde. Remember when these plans go retrograde, people get nervous because again, you're listening to so many different sources. But have you ever noticed, and I really want this is where you're gonna use logic here. I don't want to say common sense because sometimes the, com the people saying common sense almost makes a person feel, um, to some degree, it can be hurtful. That person doesn't have any common sense. What is wrong with them? Because it's not common to everybody, right? Common sense is not common to everybody. So this is where you're going to really look back at your life and go, hmm, okay, this is not the first time Mercury went retrograde. Did the airlines stop doing Mercury retrograde because you're not supposed to travel? Did people stop signing contracts during Mercury retrograde because that's what they were told to do or suggested? Hmm. Did communication stop altogether? Did communication from source? Did people stop talking to each other? Did people stop sending emails and text messages and communication? Because that's what Mercury going retrograde affects. We know planets don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace. But what my point is, is yes, the the earth is already, the this planet is already balanced out. So of course you're going to have some people who are terrified when planets go retrograde. Then you have the rest of us, like you and I, who are like, oh, okay, it's retrograde. You know what? Hey, let me go on about my life. Keep my vibrations high. Yeah, there may be some garbled messages coming through when, um, when, when somebody sends an email or whatever. And if I, if it's that confusing to me, instead of me assuming the worst, let me just pick up the phone and call the person. We don't have to go back and forth with all of this paper trail. Let's just let me just pick up the phone and call the person. Hey, if I feel like taking a vacation at the start or in the middle or at the end of Mercury being retrograde, guess what I'm going to do? Hop on a plane, hop on a train, get in my car, my truck, whatever. Yes. Yes. So again, let's stay focused. Here we have page of wands. Somebody has a new spark lit up under them. I love it. Love it. Love it. Leo's. 
Again, you have a new spark lit up under you. And of course, you know, it's really about the energies that you've allowed in your space. It really, really is. It's the energies that you've allowed in your space. So, yeah. So, yeah, I do see somebody getting their sacral chakra back in alignment because that's what we have the majority of that in your minor arcana here. And so we know the sacral chakra is developed between the ages of 8 and 14. You know that by now because you watch that on the Knowledge Channel. That link is below. So, yeah, between the ages of 8 and 14, that's a great period of hormonal change and sexual awakening, right? The sacral chakra is about intimacy, play, sexuality, creativity, emotions, and surrender, which may, for some of you all, that's why you may have been so emotionally drained during um, full moon in Scorpio and that lunar eclipse making that full moon feel like it was on steroids because you may have been thinking about like the people you put so much energy into, whether that's an ex-lover, an ex-friend, a family, something you were very passionate about. And if you were deeply disappointed by it, it was what? On, like it was on steroids times 10, right? But yes, the you today, because that moon is waning, you're feeling a lot better. You're feeling sunnier, right? Yes, Knight of Cups. Emotionally, you are filling your own cup. You're charging through those emotions, right? You're replenishing your own water. Very nice. Very, very nice, Leos. Very nice. Mm -hmm. The Magician card is also attached to Virgo and Gemini, right? That's their ruling planet. And of course, Mercury is the messenger planet, right? The answers you need are coming. There's Gemini again. The answers you need are coming. So if you've been waiting for a response from something, and again, the messages could have been coming through a little garble from their end. Again, that's Mercury being retrograde still. Keep your vibrations high. If you, the moment you want to start sinking into this feeling of whatever you want to sink into, this black hole, don't go down there. Because there's energies down there that will accommodate you. Those are low vibrating energy. There are people who will sit there and listen to all the low vibration talk because they're down there in that black hole. Get up from this space. Go to the beach. Go drink some water. Go take a spiritual shower, spiritual bath. In other words, do not vibrate low. Don't vibrate low during this time while you're waiting for source to send you an answer, some answers about some things. Keep your vibrations as high as you possibly can. Yes, yes, and yes. All right. Burning bowl ritual. I am not suggesting that anybody goes out and, buy, and purchases a burning bowl unless you want to because you can write down some emotions and feelings of negativity and low vibration energy on a sheet of paper and burn it in your sink. Long as you're as long as you're near some water, you should be fine because the message the, the the answers that you need are coming. So keep your vibrations high. All right, let's see what else we have here before we close out your reading. Let's see what your number is for today. Let's see what your number is for today, Leo's. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Your number is two. I am diplomatic. You have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. The number two. That's right, I am diplomatic. Yes, so again, um, and again, we're seeing balance two, two dualities, your divine masculine to your divine feminine, the magician car, divine masculine to divine feminine, Gemini is a masculine side, Virgo is a feminine sign. And then again, the answers again, this is about balance as well. Gemini is a twins too, right? So you see a lot of that up here, but again, burn all the negative energy that's in you and from around you get away from naysayers get away from people who are gossiping about absolutely nothing um that will keep you in that low vibrational state get away from those thoughts about how this person was so much of a snake and look at it again as you have been enlightened you have been enlightened now that you know better you're going to do better let that lion 
rise up in you again and feel that fire, that flame, that, that, so I see a new flame being lit in you. That's that page of wands energy, that very youthful energy. A flame has been lit. I got some new ideas for a business. I got some new ideas for this. I can't have all that negativity around me. I got some new ideas for this project I want to work on. I just got a lot of fresh new ideas. Again, this is you being your own cheerleader. That is what I have for you, Leos. I love it, love it, love it. Get that burning bowl out and get outside in that sun. That's also fire energy too. And remove all that stale energy from your spirit so that you can feel better and get those fresh ideas coming so that you can, um, you know, feel your own fire so you can take off. That's what I have for you, Leos. I will see you in a couple of days. Don't forget to have a great day. Bye.